Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining me. I have the pleasure of presenting to you a game called Room 13. Now, this is a brief overview of this game brought to you by a one-man development team uh, from the developer named The Paper Robot. Uh, they describe this game as pick a face, build your kill machine, and slaughter the dead. It's a platformer. It's actually quite fun. It's already received quite a few positive reviews on Steam, and it uh, did just release on January 13th, so it's been available for about two days. Days, uh, since the time of the creation of this video, it is $7.99 and pretty fun game, I have to say. Um, as you can see from the video, you have just a single view screen, but you are presented with monsters that you are tasked to slaughter, and that is what you do. Um, I have to say, they basically tell you if you do not have a controller, you're probably going to die, and that, that is very much accurate. Um, I did play this game with a controller, which uh, again, you can play with a keyboard, but uh, Steam Controller worked just fine for me. And uh, as you can see, even using a controller, I did not do very well. Now, the point of this game is you do attempt to kill all these uh, different uh, type creatures and boss mobs and as you do that you do earn achievements as you just saw on those previous screens which then open up uh, further modes of gameplay different faces you can collect depending on kills and who you kill um, there are also ways to upgrade um, your your uh, weapons uh, as you can see there um, now you don't actually get to select those before you start but in between uh, each screen here in between each um, match I guess you you do have a chance to open up boxes which can contain upgrades um, and you can see there um, there's quite a few um, mechanisms of killing things um, there's even actually at some point I'm not even sure how this gets activated there's um, different mechanisms that uh, can kill you just the same as them um, I've seen uh, fire coming out of the sides I've seen a saw that gets activated in the middle of the screen so there is a lot of tactics involved to how you kill these things because um, you do get to combine weapons with guns uh, but you do have a limited number of bullets and you also when you pick up say an axe or a crowbar or a wrench um, they only last so long i'm not sure as to why but um, you can see there i'm using a uh, melee weapon and um, it eventually disintegrated i guess that makes sense the more you bang stuff the more it tends to break um, so obviously playing it is very good to leave items around the ground uh, as you progress, things do get a little tougher. You can see that big ass dude there that I just knocked uh, down. He uh, took quite a bit, and actually even the little individual monsters take a few more beatings as time goes on. Um, you know, whereas in the beginning, one shot might kill something. Uh, I got to stages where three and four and five were required. Um, the game is very unforgiving. I die, have died numerous times. Um, and actually that's kind of, I think, what's intended. When you look at some of the achievements, you don't perceive them as being necessarily hard to uh, reach, but they, they, in my experience, actually probably could be, such as, you know, 35, I think there's 35 rounds without a death or, or something like that. Um, now, a lot of the achievements also add up over time, so how many kills, how many uh, overall in your career or lifetime of playing the game do you have, and that unlocks further things. You can see right here the fire shooting out from the sides. Now, that will kill you just the same, um, but again, little traps like that that do open up as you're playing you do get to refill your health you can see the box at the bottom there as well as ammo um, so you, you know you, you do have a way of maintaining gameplay um, but you can see downstairs where I'm trying uh, downstairs at the bottom of the screen it says downstairs hallway um, where you're trying to collect body parts eventually you get to a point uh, where it says I think the battery's full or something like that and you um, actually that's how you you sort of end the level um, but anyways they do say there are 13 different rooms to survive um, and again you do get to face uh, bosses and there is a story mode and an arcade mode as well that you can pick from um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching um, I'm gonna quit talking now and I'll let the rest of the video play here Again, the name of the game is Room 13. It is available now on Steam for $7.99. And I will give this a thumbs up as many already have done. 
Um, so enjoy.